Now, how can you sync the activity from Apple Watch over to your iPhone? So there are a few things which you need to do. Of course, ensure at the beginning that we are using the iPhone, which you used to set up the Apple Watch, because of course you don't really share the activity. You don't sync it with another iPhone or just a random one. It has to be the one you used to set up the watch. But then when you do ensure that both devices are like paired and connected through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, make sure you don't have like the airplane mode turn on on your phone or something like that. And essentially make sure you keep your both devices together because the process of syncing the activity should happen automatically in the background, right? So all we can do is to give it the best conditions, right? To ensure that it actually happens, but there isn't any button to click on a sync and to make it happen, right? So you should just continuously just track the fitness app on your iPhone, just open up the app and see if it gets synced in real time because it should, right? The amount of calories and exercise minutes should be the same whenever you look at the both devices. Right, So if you don't see that happening, just restart the Apple Watch as well as iPhone and more importantly, check out the software update section to see if there isn't any new software update available, which could potentially fix these little bugs and issues. So just generally keep your devices up to date to get the latest fixes and a software. So that's basically about it. After you perform these resets and ensure that everything works the way that it's supposed to work, like managing the connections, then the activity should be automatically synced from the Apple Watch to iPhone without any issue. So I hope you managed to uh, do it properly. And if you did, subscribe for more guides and videos like this one. And I'll see you later in the future videos.